All right, everyone, it's time for adventure! Oh, wait, that means I have to get up from my chair now, doesn't it? Eh, not interested. Being outside kind of scares me. Greetings, fellow Vita fans. This is James with PS Vita at 2 a.m. Coming at you once again with another exciting video. And if you're new here and love everything PlayStation Vita, don't forget to subscribe. Today, we're going to be talking about all the fascination and wonderment of adventure games on the PS Vita. Although for me personally, I hate adventure. I just enjoy being surrounded by this 24 seven. Uh, but for any of you out there who have been craving adventure and wonderment, this video should suffice. And be sure to tell me what games you play on the Vita that help you escape into a land of fantasy without the aid of any over-the-counter stuff. All right, let us begin. Starting off this list, the game I'm going to be choosing is Adventures of Mana. And with good reason, too. Uh, that being that it has adventure in the title, so I'm assuming it would fit this list? Didn't plan this one out very well now, did you? But whatever, we're starting with a bang. Relive the excitement of Final Fantasy Adventure, a timeless classic remastered for a new generation. Yeah, for those who don't know, the Adventure of Mana game was technically a Final Fantasy game, but technically technically the first entry in the Mana series. It's kind of confusing. And I'm talking about the original one on Game Boy, which this is a remake of. And that's what it's all about. A shrine atop Mount Illusia, high above the lofty clouds stands a tree of mana, drawing its life energy from the boundless celestials and the eternal growth in silence. Legend holds that he who lays his hands upon its trunk, whoa dude, watch where you're touching, will be granted power eternal. A power the Dark Lord of Gave now seeks to further fuel his bloody quest for world domination. I know I might be sounding like a broken record here when it comes to RPG storylines, but don't they all? Adventure of Mana's battle system grants you the freedom to move about the playing field without restrictions, allowing for thrilling combat in which you decide when to attack and how to evade. Weapons are divided into six unique categories with some uses beyond merely dealing damage. Determining when and where to equip each kind will prove to be the key to success on your quest. Magic from restoring lost HP or removing various elements to rendering foes incapable or dealing deadly blows, there are eight different spells for almost any occasion. What, is this some sort of party favor or something? Obstacles, bloodthirsty enemies are not the only thing standing in the way of completing your quest. You will need both tools and your wits to overcome the many challenges encountered in the world of mana. Ranging from locked doors to hidden rooms to traps growing progressively more complex as the game progresses. In other words, the game gets from easy to hard as the game goes on. I think that's pretty much game 101 for design. But we're gonna pretend it's unique. So if you haven't had a chance to try Adventures of Mana, yep, believe it or not, they do exist exist on the Vita. So I don't really know what it is about this next game that makes me feel like I'm on an adventure of fantasy and wonderment. Could just be my creepy fetish for characters with no arms or legs. Maybe. This be Rayman Origins, one of the OG games on Vita. And that reference right there is the closest James will ever get to becoming a true gangster. He also likes to refer to himself in the third person for no real reason. Experience the magical universe of Rayman with legendary 2D gameplay that has captured the hearts of millions around the world. When the Glade of Dreams is overrun by nefarious dark tunes, it's a Rayman game, you just have to accept it. The Fairy Council hastily invokes Rayman to save the day, but the Hero of Light isn't quite all there. <laughs> Pun. To help him, Rayman teams up with his best friends, Globox, the two crafty wizards, and Teenies. Together, the world's most hilarious team of heroes will need to restore peace to the Glade, or watch as their beloved home vanishes like a bad dream. And let me just say here, I for one know what it feels like to have questionable dreams that you don't want to share with anybody else for the wrong price. The game has a unique approach to 2D art, a rich world with over 100 characters and 12 unique environments created by some of the video game's most reputable artists and animators. This creative approach to 2D design will capture the hearts of platforming fans and introduce a new generation to one of the industry's best loved characters in his original 2D form. And on a serious note here, I really miss 2D side-scrolling platformers from some of these bigger companies. I know we have our indies and all, but man, I wish we get more of them. But anyway, Rayman, he's big, he's beautiful, he has no arms or legs, and we question nothing. Now for our next choice here, and totally not a game that I chose just because it has adventure in the title. <laughs> 
You believe me, right? No. We'll just pretend like you do. This is Adventure Time, the secret of the Nameless Kingdom. What time is it? Time to join Finn, the human, and his best bro, Jake, the shape-shifting dog. I haven't really watched much of the cartoon, so this is just all really bizarre for me. On a heroic adventure through the mysterious Nameless Kingdom, go on epic quests, solve puzzles, and uncover secrets by exploring new realms created exclusively for the video game. Which again, means absolutely nothing to me because I've never watched the show. Does Cartoon Network still exist? But aside from the obvious ignorance I have from the actual source material here, I can say one thing, the game is really awesome. It plays pretty much like an old school Zelda. I know, kind of unexpected, right? Well, maybe not, there have been other games that kind of mimic this. And based on what I have played of these Adventure Time games, yeah, the comedy seems pretty on point. And this is coming from a guy who barely even knows the definition of the word. But yeah, I can see why people would like it. Now this game is great and all, but sadly it's not all peaches and cream. Or in this title's case, uh, shape-shifting dogs and adventuring humans? Because as much as I love this title, unfortunately it has been removed from most PS Vita stores in many regions. I can't confirm it's been taken down from every region, but I know it has been taken down from many. Not that this is probably really much of a problem anymore, because I know many individuals out there have a <clears throat> way of getting around this. But for those of you who don't want to go down that path, it may interest you to know that a Japanese physical copy of this game does exist in Japan. Yeah, how much sense does that make? An American cartoon getting a physical only release? in Japan? That's not bizarre in the slightest! But even still, the one silver lining we have here is that at least we still have some options out there for individuals who still have an interest in this game. And as they say in some parts of the world, I'm assuming, this video is done like dinner. That is a thing, right? But guys, I would love to know which adventure games you love to play on the PS Vita. Did I name any of them here? Which ones did I miss? What would you like to see in a future iteration of this segment? Tell me down in the comments section. And as always, fellow Vita fans, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. It really means a lot to me. Love you all, and I'll see you next time. This video has been brought to you in part by all of these wonderfully generous people who help make this content possible, including Alan Iwazu, Bushin Ryuket, Milk Sama, Makis Blob, Zikrito, B Mystery, Matt Fox, Frieden, Reiko Star, Joseph Raismick, Shin Snake, Nio Rashi, Pablo Tornentino Mejia, Robert Johnson, Smug Wolf, Jesus Hernandez, Mazgas, Saki Balam, Kayonko, Burzen Mystery, Cobble Trappa, Matt Hargett, Dr. Super Artie, Ronan Alganto, Romp King, Tasha Monty, Donut Valley, Eric DeWitt, Jackie, Azumara, Juan M. Hermesio, David Ray, Wendy K., Hemdall Imbert, Gutter Drums, Larry Anderson, H. Hitter, Jelly, Lori Sweeney, Richard Cruz, PS Vita S., Adam Sondi, Rodrigo Vera, Aaron Swanson, Heston Joseph, Kevin Enright, Jared Hado, Joshua Williams, Clayton Merlarkey, BMF, Phantom XRS, Saul Ramirez, Kyle Brooks, JR, Erock, Per Sterner, Adam Thury, and Skullsher Tugel TCG. If you would be interested in supporting the channel and seeing your name on this end screen here, or if you wish to remain anonymous, that can be provided too, then make sure to check the links down in the description below. I have numerous ways for you to do this down there. Can't support in this manner? Don't worry about it. Likes and shares can help equally as much. Oh, oh and I was just kidding at the beginning. I sometimes get up from my chair. <laughs> you believe me, right? No. Hmm, I sense a theme here. Thank you.